We messed up. So we got these Pokeball tins from Aldi. They were on sale for only about $12. We got four of them thinking they would all have Cosmic Eclipse. However, that's not always the case. In fact, they could have totally different packs. So we're going to open up all four and see what's inside. All right, let's start with our first ball, the Premier Ball. Open it up and see what's inside. For anybody who doesn't know, if you buy 10 Pokeballs in a Pokemart, you also get a Premier Ball for free. Now that's not real life, that's just in the video games. <laughs> so let's pop it open here. And the packs are Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, and Lost Origin. Unfortunately, somewhat of what we expected. And a giant Pikachu coin. We're still gonna have fun opening them up. Let's start with Lost Origin. Open this pack up and see what we have in store for us. All right, C dot in the front followed by a Slugma, Litleo, Tynamo, Mian Fu, Rhydon Reverse, and for the car in the back, a Stone Journer, Dark Energy, Lake Acuity, Luminion, and a Mirage Gate. Okay, let's open up a Silver Tempest in between the two Lost Origin. So maybe there's Better luck with this. Steel Energy in the front, followed by Primordial Altar, Dedene, Quadstone, Emolga, Beldum, Stunfisk, Vulpix, Snowrunt, a Gardevoir. Look at that trainer gallery. It might not be Cosmic Eclipse, but that is awesome artwork on that. And for the car in the back, a Metagross Holographic. Let's see if we can get anything good from Lost Origin. Maybe we'll get a trainer gallery from this one. Water Energy in the front, Porygon 2, Colrus's Experiment, Silcoon, Phalanx, Hollywag, Oddish, Hisuian Growlithe, Seedot, a Pikachu Trainer Gallery, and a Politoed in the back. The reason we thought we might have Cosmic Eclipse is because we thought, because it had the letter D on the bottom, perhaps that meant that it would be Cosmic Eclipse. However, that was not the case. It has to specifically be D21, and this is D23. It has to be D21 specifically. Let's pop this open and... Well, what do you know? We have Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, and Lost Origin. We got a cool trainer gallery from it last time. In fact, we got two trainer galleries from the Premier Ball, so hopefully we can continue some of this luck. All right, Water Energy in the front, followed by Beehun, Braxen, Golbat, Swirlix, Marini, Indeedee, Baltoy, Sunkern, Togedemaru Reverse, and for the ground back, a regular rare Zygarde. Will we get any other trainer galleries? Fingers crossed, here we go. Fire Energy in the front, followed by a Gloom, Fatina Trainer Supporter Card, Haunter, Hisuian Growlithe, C Dot, Slugma, Tynamo, Litleo, a Reverse Holographic Ariados, that's pretty cool, and for the car in the back, a Holographic Machamp. What will we get in this last Lost Origin? Four from the back and away we go. Fighting Energy in the front, followed by a Seedra, Rhydon, Roserade, Ducklet, Blipbug, Finneon, Hisuian Zorua, Paris, a Reverse Seedra, and for the final card in the Ultra Ball, a regular rare Hoopa. So nothing rare from that one, despite getting two trainer galleries in the Premier Ball.
All right, let's move on to this luxury ball here. It is also a D23, so most likely the same packs that we have already opened. Once again, of course, Silver Tempest and two Lost Origin. All right, here we go, starting with Lost Origin. Come on, give us another trainer card. Or give us something even cooler. Steel Energy in the front, followed by Panic Mask, Obama Snow, Rhydon, Electrike, Love Disc, Gligar, Wormpole, Rhydon, Binnacle Reverse, and for the car in the back, a regular rare Dugong. You know what? Why not? Let's just do another Lost Origin. They seem to be the <laughs> less lucky packs. It seems like Silver Tempest has had better luck, at least in terms of percentage, since we've opened fewer of them, but it's had the same amount of trainer galleries as the Lost Origin has. Dark Energy in the front, followed by Wind Up Arm, Machoke, Mirage Gate, Phantom, Sudowoodoo, Bronzor, Electrike, Ghastly, Miss Fortune Sisters Reverse, and for the car on the back, a holographic Hisuian Zoroark. All right, the light behind me might have died, but my spirits haven't. Let's hope that this Silver Tempest is a good one. All right, here we go. V-Star token in the front. Followed by Stone Journer, Ferrothorn, Leafy Camo Poncho, Emolga, Meditite, Durant, Ralts, Fletchling. Oh, the cards were stuck together there, and that's because we have a Lukia V Star. Let's go! I was wondering why the cards there were kind of stuck together, but a pretty epic pull in the back. An error pack because there was no reverse. There's no reverse card, yet we have ourselves a Lukia V Star. Very strange. The luxury ball ended with a luxury pool there. Let's hope that the great ball can end with a great pool, right? I mean, that would only make sense. So let's try this again. We'll start with Lost Origin. Once again, it looks like we have a V-Star token in the front, followed by Porygon 2, Colrus's Experiment, Silcoon, Apom, Spinarak, Litwick, Rosalia, Rockruff, a Pikachu Trainer Gallery. So it looks like we got two of the Pikachu Trainer Galleries in this pack opening. And for the car in the back, a Barbaracle Holographic. Okay, I think we'll end on Silver Tempest, so let's open up Last Origin again. Steel Energy in the front, followed by Fantina, Gastrodon, Haunter, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish, Hisuian Growlithe, Seedot, Lost Vacuum Reverse, and for the car in the back, a regular rare Hoopa. So the pulls have not been great so far out of the Great Ball, but we have one final pack. This one's a little plump. I'm not sure why there's like some extra air in it. A little strange. Kind of a weird packaging thing going on here. I mean, in that one pack, the cards were practically stuck together. So let's see if this is a regular pack for us. All right, Grass Energy in the front, followed by Golbat, Dawn Fan, Fursade Girl, Clink, Whalmer, Dratini, Feebas, Vulpix, Rolts, Reverse, and for the final card, a regular rare Fion. So there you have it for our Aldi Pokeball tins. Unfortunately, we did not get the packs that we were trying to get, and the pulls were decent, but not great. We did get a Lugia V-Star though, however, so that was kind of lucky. That's all I have for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.